I am Brett Miller. I am the co-founder of the Male Breast Cancer Coalition. One word to uh, describe uh, the day I was diagnosed, um, punked. Uh, I thought that when the doctor called and just flat out just told me that you know, it was breast cancer and didn't ask if I could come in or if it was a safe place to discuss or if I was sitting down or anything like that, just told me straight up it was breast cancer. I just thought it was a joke. My name is Arnaldo Silva. I'm a nine years male breast cancer survivor. What's one word to describe how I felt? Scared and wondering how much time I had left. Well, I have one word to describe my feelings when I got diagnosed is I thought I was a freak. So freak would be the word. Disbelief. One word to describe my husband's experience when he had breast cancer um, would probably be uncertainty. My word, however, was different. Um, my word when we heard that my husband had breast cancer would have to be help. Uh, the one word I would use to describe my experience is shock. It was just total shock. When I heard about Brett's diagnosis, is fear as a mother. Um, I have three sons and a daughter. Brett's my second son. And to imagine that you get the knowledge that your son has breast cancer, it's the worst fear a mother could have. So when I got my diagnosis, my feeling was, I'm going to get through this. This is okay. <clears throat> and that's what drove me from that point. The first thing that I think of when I hear breast cancer is that most people understand it to be a woman's disease. And I always think, what about the men? Something I wish somebody uh, that would have said to me when all this started was just be prepared in your mind your mind is a very powerful thing when you're dealing with stuff like this. And you have to have that mind prepared to, to do. And if you don't have your mind prepared, you're in bad shape. I wish someone had told me more about being there for someone else experiencing this because I never realized how much people go through. Uh, I wish somebody would have said that there'll be some light at the end of the tunnel uh, and that things will be all right. I wish other people would have been more open about male breast cancer. Uh, unfortunately, there's still a lot of stigma with it. What I would say to others is uh, be your own best advocate. Know your body. If you feel that something is wrong, go to the doctors. Don't wait for seven years like I did. Don't let a doctor tell you, that, oh, it's nothing. What I would say to others is there is no embarrassment in having breast cancer. It's a person's disease. Well, as a father, it's been a rough journey for me. But I would tell my sons to please get yourself checked. Use me as an example so you don't have to go through what I've been through. What I would say to other wives is when in doubt, just have your husband go get a mammogram, be checked, and be on the safe side. What I would say is to make sure you do your research, educate yourself, and don't be afraid to ask for a second or third opinion because the practice of medicine is just that, it's a practice. What one doctor views may be different from another's. If you're just diagnosed recently, there's going to be different feelings that you're going to go through. You might be upset, you're fearful, you're depressed. That's okay. But then you give yourself a week or two and after that, get your ass up and do what you have to do to stay alive.
is that's the name of the game. You have to stay alive for whoever, for yourself, for your family. And you're going to feel lonely. Even having a family, you might feel lonely because they're not in your shoes. And that's why I think support groups help a lot or hanging out with people that have the same thing going on in their life. People that have problems with their child with uh, breast cancer, I would tell them, don't give up. Keep going, looking, and second and third opinions with other doctors. Don't just stick with the first answer. If I could impart some advice on maybe another family member, take this negative experience and turn it into something positive to help others. So, so what would I say to others that were going through this? I would say wake up every day with something new to show for your life. Do everything and anything that scares you. Go out and jump off a cliff and skydive. Um, try new things, because if you don't do it now, when will you do it? There are a lot of things in life that motivate me. I'm an eight year male breast cancer survivor. And the fact that uh, with the Male Breast Cancer Coalition, we're getting the word out that men have breast cancer too, and that we live with breast cancer, we die from metastatic breast cancer just like women. We want to be part of the conversation. We want to be involved at the table when there's talk about the research and that although we're only 1% of the breast cancer population, it sucks to be in that 1% of the population. And there's 2,670 men diagnosed every year with uh, some form of breast cancer. We're losing 500 of our brothers every year because of the latter stages of their diagnosis. So it motivates me to get the word out and to make sure that men are aware that they can get breast cancer too. What motivates me is family. Um, I have a daughter, so I wanna make sure that I am here for her um, and for the rest of my family, that uh, I can educate them and others uh, so that they do not get diagnosed and they are uh, advocates for their own health. The thing that motivates me is my grandson. I gotta be there for him. Uh, my, what's my motivation is to maybe be alive, to see this disease get beat. What motivates me is my husband. He has passed away. And um, he was a 41-year educator, and I know that he would want me to continue educating people and to let them know that men do get breast cancer. So My message of hope is that uh, with early detection, that uh, it can be beat. Um, you can survive this. My message of hope would be that life goes on and life is what you make of it. My message of hope is that no man ever walks alone. My message of hope would be that you have to remain positive. You have to find a way to have a sense of humor about it. It really helps you to get through and know that you're not alone. My message of hope to other wives and other uh, men out there is don't be embarrassed like I was. My message of hope would be to carry on and not be afraid of the future and put your, put your faith in God. Don't be afraid of cancer. The message I would probably give to others is uh, it's day by day when this starts. It's, it's, every day is a different day during, during treatment. My message, if I could provide for other wives, is that the main thing is that you remember to take care of yourself because when you take care of yourself, you're so much better at taking care of your loved one and, and you take care of yourself just as you're pushing them to take care of themselves and it helps you to help them in the long run for you, for them, for your family. And I think that's a great message.
So what I would tell another son, um, the number one, you should just be there uh, along the way. I came across a quote by Gracie Allen, of all people, and the quote is, don't put a period in your life where God only meant to put a comma. So find whatever helps you to cope, what makes you happy, what gives you inspiration, and a way of just celebrating your life every day. If we all work together, together we can change the world.